Hi everyone, it's Clint Monchuk again, and I just want to talk a little bit about spraying things like herbicides or fungicides or insecticides. Um, on this sprayer you can see we have numerous different nozzles. So these are the different heads of the nozzles and you can change them from 5 gallons an acre up to 20 gallons an acre depending on what we're spraying um, in the field for herbicides or fungicides or, or insecticides. But everything is controlled with this. So that is uh, solenoid and it goes back to a GPS system in the kind of the main computer of the sprayer and it automatically turns on and off depending on where you are in the field. So that's so we don't over apply any of the, the uh, herbicides or, or fungicides uh, and make sure we're saving money really with what we're doing. The other thing that I want to mention is that this is pretty big so I'm 6'3 and, and this is a pretty big sprayer. Um, that silver thing that's the tank and it holds about 1200 gallons now majority of what we spray is actually water so this is a half a liter a bottle of uh, water effectively most of the herbicides or fungicides we use are kind of around that half a liter per acre an acre is roughly the size of an american football field so it, it's very uh, small amounts of the uh, herbicide or fungicide that we put on and they're very targeted to just target that disease or that weed or that group of weeds that we're trying to kill to make sure we have healthy wheat and barley and oats and canola and corn and soy and all the other things that we grow here in this wonderful country. So in a perfect world uh, our crops would be planted and uh, only these things would grow instead of these things, these are weeds. Well, weeds take all the nutrients away from the plant that we want. So in this case, there's uh, barley in the field. So we don't want that. We wanna make sure that um, it's only barley growing out here. And you can see this is one small field. Um, it's about 110 acres, 110 football fields. So <laughs> you can imagine if we had to pick this all by hand, my back would be even more sore than it is already. So we have to use uh, herbicides to uh, spray them. And my brother's just coming in uh, with the sprayer in a bit. Uh, I'm the water boy today. Uh, so we have the two big uh, tanks of water and the herbicide on there and the pumps and everything ready to go. And what he's gonna do is when he comes in here, he's gonna open it up. He still has a little bit of uh, um, herbicide left in the tank and, He's gonna go through this and it's gonna selectively just kill out the weeds. So, so this is an example and uh, there's blue. Um, we're gonna take care of these dandelions and we're gonna leave the barley. Again, barley makes beer, so we wanna make sure it's healthy barley. Um, and not only that, it, the weeds are gonna rob the nutrients from that barley. So we wanna make sure we grow uh, thick, healthy barley and stuff that's ready to harvest. Uh, come August or September. So that's really why we uh, spray the herbicides and uh, make sure that we have clean fields. So here comes my brother right now, right around the corner by those trees, making sure he stays in the field. And you can see as he comes closer, the pulsation of the uh, um, sprayer that's meant to push down the herbicide and make sure that it's more effective. Again, if you do have any questions about what we're doing and why we do it, just ask and we're here to answer them.